what's up you guys there's another message coming through um so I feel like this is, is going to be related to the message that I just did before this one so if you if this resonates then maybe you should check that one out but um it's like somebody was indoctrinated or somebody tried to indoctrinate a demonic a group a dark coven a, a group of I don't know it could just be it doesn't always have to be like a dark coven because I don't see anybody like spell casting or well actually no I am because I'm seeing like smear campaigning that could be spell casting you know um so, because words create ripples in the universe that then, you know, sometimes God has to fix then, which I don't think God's very happy about. I wouldn't be very happy about if my divine plan was being fucked around, um, or fucked with. Um, so, but there's something about somebody having, trying to been indoctrinated into some sort of a psychic coven or cult that is just not good demonic they are demonic okay lots of demons i'm seeing lots of demons in this demonic cult it's almost like they're collecting demons they collect demons they collect demons okay because i'm seeing <laughs> it's not funny it's actually scary what i'm seeing but what i'm also seeing is that there's like somebody who was like a child at one time who was is divine is an adult child now this could be you if this is your story okay and just take what resonates you guys remember that all my readings are general readings little bits and pieces may resonate you with you the entire thing may resonate with you and like none of it may resonate with you it might just be like a cool little anecdote or a fun little story or just some interesting shit okay and remember also that we all have different experiences and most of these readings i've probably gone through something similar and it's 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 a lot of like my personal experience wrapped uh, wrapped into you know reading and research and things like that that I've done um, you know on my own reading or through people who I've you know studied with or studied under or yeah and friends and, and you know what I mean things like that so. There's somebody here who learned about all of these demons, though. Okay? That's what's going on here. There's somebody who was, they tried to indoctrinate you into some sort of a something, and you learned all about it. And you, it's like, I'm seeing somebody who kind of like went to God and said, hey man, this is what's going on. Or went to some sort of a galactic collective and said, this is what's going on. And I'm seeing somebody then incarnating again. So this has taken a few lifetimes. So then I'm seeing somebody going, being scooped up into the collective and then coming back down. Maybe somebody may have even had a, had a very short life in one of their lifetimes. And it was to gain intel, essentially. Just take what resonates, you guys. But somebody... Okay. So somebody has been tr trying to indoctrinate you, if this is your reading, into some sort of a dark, and into a situation that you sh you don't want to be in, full of demons, okay? Whoever you are, you follow the, the light, um, and you listen to God, okay? So, okay, sure. Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, what's the message? So you basic so somebody was raised by a bunch of demons and you became a demon slayer. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. What is this? Yeah, Ten of Wands. You you lock demons away. This came out in the reading before this one and and all of my cards just slid down onto my lap 444 four, four there just slid down onto my lap and this was the card that was revealed yeah you lock demons away you learned about them 
there's something also about having exercised a demon and it's like that demon it's like somebody knows how to exercise demons Somebody might be a death doula. Somebody knows how to exercise demons either like before somebody's getting ready to go or knows that you need that, that some people aren't necessarily bad, but they need some sort of an exorcism. There's something about or exercising demons before somebody goes because the demon, because that demonic spirit that whoever the soul needs to be released. Or how do I say this? The soul Whoever you are, you understand that it's not fair that the soul of a human can get pulled by the spirit of a demon. And there's a human, or there might be several humans, who maybe you, you know, I don't know, but you're locking away demons that were attached to these humans. Now, there are... I don't know. You guys just take what resonates. Um, this reading is making me sad. It's it's very empowering because I love that somebody was raised by demons and then became a demon slayer. Like, it's just beautiful. And it's so in alignment with the reading that I did before this one, too. But... um. The strength card, okay. Obvious that obviously, like this one is um, this deck is a little different um, than the the Rider Weight. This one actually came out before the Rider Weight, I believe. I think it's the Viscotti Tarot. It's like, anyways, let's look up the uh, number four four four, and then. Um, And then I, number five, five came through in the other reading. I'm going to read that because I don't think that I ended up reading that number. So in numerology, the number five, five uh, is said to emphasize the importance of change and transformation in life. It's a reminder that change is a natural part of life's journey that can lead to personal growth and freedom. The number five, five is also said to intensify the qualities associated with the number five, such as adaptability, adventure, and embracing new opportunities. Some say that when you see the number five, five, often you should meditate and connect with yourself and a higher power. You can also try to act on opportunities that come your way. Trust your intuition and take steps towards your goal. Wow, I wish I would have read that in the last reading because that totally resonates for that. But I, it might even resonate for this if, if you were resonating with this, okay? The angel number 444 is said to have many meanings, including guidance, a reminder that your angels are watching over you and guiding you towards clarity and decisiveness. Okay, it can also be a sign that your hard work and preparation are about to pay off. Demon Slayer. Um, hmm. yeah, maybe somebody was having a hard time with regards to making a decision and, and they were starting to realize it's like, I'm seeing somebody knowing what it feels like to not have any demonic attachments around them. And when I say demonic attachments around them, I mean people with demonic attachments around them. Oh, maybe somebody's just getting clarity with regards to, yeah, decisiveness towards people, like knowing and feeling what that type of an attachment feels like. And so knowing to avoid said person, choosing and picking and choosing who you will exercise and who you will not, so to speak. Okay. All right. Angel 444 is also said to be a message of love, support, and guidance from your angels that they are uh, by your side to help you and to achieve your goals. An indicator that you are on the right path and that positive things are to come. A reminder to be ready for what comes after success so that it doesn't destroy you and so you can make the most of it. A reminder to be ready for what comes after success. attention a reminder to be ready for what comes after success which is attention so maybe somebody's getting ready to get into some sort of success or some sort of abundance or something like that and and spirit and your guides know that when this happens there's just going to be a shitload of demons that are going to be trying to come at you and it's like whoever you are like now you're prepared for that 
444 is also a number that um, that uh, that brings order to chaos. It um, it suggests that one sets secure foundations. Um, a reminder to apply an investing mindset towards your aspirations. Okay, I, okay, Demon Slayer, I feel like you have invested definitely a lot into, like, studying or... It's not even like... I feel like maybe somebody did study, but it's almost like... I also feel like somebody might not even know that they're doing this. Like, there's somebody who is very much aware that they're doing this, but there's somebody who is, like, not very much aware that they're doing this too. Okay. So it's kind of like, I'm also seeing like somebody who's just like, kind of just like the fool card who is like, okay, God, just like show me the way and I'll do what you need to do. And we'll, we'll bring order to chaos and we'll set a secure foundation for this paradigm shift and I believe in you. But then there's also somebody who's like in this like emperor, like, and it could be male or female, emperor, empress, energy, where it's like, you know, oh, you know, like high priestess, you know, okay? Uh, embracing opportunity is a sign that it's time to embrace opportunities for personal and professional development, such as pursuing further education, attending workshops, or seeking mentorship. You could also just like personal and professional development can also just be like, maybe you need to like pick up some books or something like that. You know, pursuing further education it doesn't necessarily have to be like, um, or I mean, you could take a college course or, you know, whatever, but, um, I don't think that they have a college course on demonology. Although I'm pretty sure that in the school, there's like the school in Switzerland. What is it? It's like the most expensive school. I think it's like the most expensive school in the world. I feel like it's like where a lot of, um, I think, yeah, like a lot of like, uh, like nations, leaders and things like that, their children go there. Um, the school of Kings, maybe that's the one, but they, they're starting to do, um, they're starting, I was looking at like one day, I don't know, it was just so random. I was like looking at uh, like their classes and things like that. And they have like esoteric classes at this school that costs. Well, here, let's see. Uh, it's like $100,000 or something like that. It could even be more than that. I think it's actually more than that. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Does it? I don't think it really matters. Okay, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you have $100,000 to spend on a semester, then, you know, you could go there and you could, you know, you could study the esoteric. But I don't, you know, the school I went to, Central Michigan University, they don't have anything like that. So, and none of the colleges around here have anything like that, too. So, I'm pretty sure none of the universities in Michigan um, okay, let's see what else. So somebody has some money coming in and it's like spirit or somebody has like more responsibility coming in, more success coming in for them. And they're just very much aware of the, the energy that may come with it. And, and it's just trying to get somebody very prepared for that. You guys, this was actually the card on top and then this slid over and then we got this motherfucker. Okay, and let me show you what's at the what's behind what's behind him. Really? The seven of cups. The card of illusion. So there's some sort of an energy that was trying to put you in some sort of an illusion. Maybe trying to make somebody feel emotionally scattered or emotionally um ungrounded. Trying to keep you away from your faith trying to keep you for their for their for their own for their self. I feel like in this I feel like in a past life too there may have actually been a coven and it's almost like you may have 
I don't want to even, it's like, I feel like in past lives too, you took a lot of licks to, to learn this stuff. Like you took a lot of like hits. Like I'm seeing somebody like harvesting energy. I'm seeing like, like I'm seeing a lot of bad, 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 bad stuff, but just take what resonates you guys. Just take what resonates and just take the parts of the reading that resonate too, because I know that I do tend to be a little cryptic sometimes, but like I said, sometimes there are some things I just can't say sometimes, you know, um, all right, let's see what the mermaids have to say. We've got freedom, freedom and, and no more soul cage. What? What is this? What is this? Okay. And maybe the success that you're looking to do is for, we've got fertility. So I don't know, maybe somebody is trying to have a baby too, or something like that. And they kind of like cleared their bloodline. I don't know. And, or maybe this is just, like I said, like there's some sort of an abundance or something that's coming in, but we've got fertility, potential, powerful, creative energy, initiation energy. You're like, you want to initiate me into this dark coven? Okay. Let me initiate you into the light. They don't like the light. <laughs> they don't like the light. Um, oh, but, it, but the, but the demons don't like the light. But the humans have a choice, and that's why the humans, it's discipline. The humans need to be disciplined. I make smart choices. I feel like maybe you even are kind of like a guardian in that regard for some people too, but it's like, but it is, I'm hearing again, like cut your losses. At some point, you kind of have to cut your losses. They wanted to take your light away so that you wouldn't feel at home in your heart. You wouldn't feel at home with God. We've got telepathy. We've got visions. I wish you guys could see how these cards are like flipping out. They're like flipping out. <laughs> what else, spirit? So maybe you've been getting some messages from your ancestors. Maybe you've been getting some visions, some having some dreams. Um, maybe somebody's getting better at discerning where the dreams are coming from too, and where the the, the uh, visions are coming from as well. You know, you have to be in a certain type of energy to be able to receive certain types of messages um, in a in a safe way. What else? Spirit, ancestors of the highest of light. Air. The reading that I did before this, um, breathing deep, entering in, into into life, uh, exchange of life bringing energies. Somebody needs to go outside and get some air. That was in the reading before this one, okay? I think I'm going to cut the reading off right here. I hope that this helps any of you, all of you. I'm sending you guys so much love. Thanks so much for being here. Until next time.